What's up guys, Coding Jesus here. Guys, in today's video, I wanna highlight a project that one of my consulting clients built based off my recommendation. Now, his actual LinkedIn profile will be in the description box below, and today we will be going over his project together where I'll not only highlight his project, but also explain to you guys why it's important that you build something like this. Guys, if you're looking to break into quantitative trading as a researcher or trader, this is the sort of thing that you should be building. What my consulting client built is essentially a volatility surface configurable on a couple of parameters as well as fully configurable on any given ticker symbol that you'd like to search. I guess as long as Yahoo Finance will service the actual query request. So what is that exactly? What did I just say? Well, anytime you price an option, essentially you have a couple of inputs. Dividend yield, interest rate, underlying you know, future price or stock price, strike price, etc. And that spits out a price. Now, there's a bunch of prices for a bunch of options in the market. Effectively, if you have any of these inputs and, or the output, and you're looking to back out one of the inputs, you can do that. And what my client built is an implied volatility surface, which essentially backs out the volatility implied by the market, given current call option prices for any configurable tick symbol that you enter into his tool. Now, let's take a look at what the end result is, and then let's take a look at the inputs. Effectively, the end result is a 3D surface where the Z-axis or Z, Canadian, American, whatever, is implied volatility, colored such that, you know, it's easier to tell uh, the actual values themselves. The Y-axis is the strike price or moneyness, and we'll get to the difference in a second. And the X-axis is time to expiry. So essentially, every slice of this 3D surface is a 2D surface for a given complex of options from strike X to strike Y and their implied volatility. All right, the y-axis, as I mentioned, can either be configured to be strike price or moneyness. Strike price, it's straightforward. Everybody knows what a dollar price is. Moneyness is effectively the strike price divided by the current at the money strike price. All right, and he also provided a filter to show you a range of different options, a range of different call options from out of the money to in the money, okay? Let's take a look at some of the other inputs here, risk-free rate, dividend yield, etc. What he does when you click calculate for that given ticker symbol is he finds the prices of every call option for every complex stretching from now till I think a year and a half or two years out. And he runs a Black-Scholes formula over those given a set of inputs, price being one of them, dividend yield being one of them, interest rate, risk-free rate being one of them, at the money price being one of them. And he backs out the volatility implied by that given option price. Okay. Why is this important? Well, it highlights a couple of things. The first is it highlights that you're passionate. Guys, nowadays the job market's extremely competitive. You're not going to get the job by simply relying on the fact that you have a degree. All right, what else does it show? It shows that you've taken the initiative outside of school to study option theory. And it also shows that you have a given skill set in coding that you can apply on your option theory to generate something meaningful. Okay, now there's gonna be somebody watching this video that's gonna say, well, this is too easy. Great, you think this is too easy? Make it harder. How would you make it harder? Here's an idea. Persist these values into a database. Or even better, build a server that for a given set of configurable tickers will snapshot the volatility surface and save it in a database every half hour, every minute, every hour, whatever interval that you think sounds the best or feels right. And then build a GUI that allows you to replay these historic values so you can see how the actual 3D vol surface changes over time. If that's too easy, hey, build something more robust. These are all ideas that you can use to mold your own personal passion project experience and effectively, therefore, your interview experience. Now, if you'd like more ideas, feel free to book a one-on-one -on -one consulting session with me, guys. I do mock interviews, technical, behavioral, resume reviews, etc. If you'd like to watch this video early, guys, make sure to become a patron. Link in the description box below. If you'd like to follow me outside of YouTube, I post nothing quant related on my personal social media, but you can follow me at the coding Jesus on Instagram, for example. And if you'd like to shoot me an email, you can do so at the coding Jesus at coding Hopefully this video was instructive. If it was, please give me a like, share, subscribe, whatever. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.